What is good, Boss Nation? Welcome back to another episode of Maddie 18 Ultimate Team. I appreciate you guys checking this video out. Before we get started, though, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let's try to reach 4,000 likes on this video. Here's the offense. Let's go ahead and jump into the defense. In the last video, we did bring in Deion Sanders to the team. 97 overall. I can't wait to see what he does in this video. But check this out. Madden just dropped brand new flashback players, including this guy right here. I mean, his nickname is Flash, and this card is well-deserving. Well-deserving. I don't even know if that's a word, but look. There's also a Cam Chancellor, Marshawn Lynch. These cards are going for like 325,000 coins. I thought you were going to go for a lot more, but some of their overalls, I think in my opinion, are a bit too low. Like Marshawn should be in the 95s. Josh Gordon should be a 95 overall. At this point of Madden, some of these flashback cards should be a little higher overall. Like, Ryan Shazier shouldn't be 93 overall. And they also dropped a brand new JJ Watt card. Check this out. We're going to go ahead and open up this bundle. It comes with 10 elite packs. And the bundle topper comes with a guaranteed 90 plus overall flashback player. Now, that kind of worries me because if you think about it, if it's 90 plus, that means... The odds of you getting a flashback player from the older batches is very high. And to me, that would be disappointing because I want to get a player from this current batch. Not an old flashback player. But we'll see what happens. Let's go ahead and first open up these elite packs. And then we'll save the bundle topper for the ending right here. I get Joe Thomas next. Here's our flashback topper. And look at this. I get an old card. David DeCastro. As much as I don't want to do this, I'm going to go ahead and open up yet another bundle. Like I said, it comes with 10 elite packs and a flashback topper, which does not guarantee you a player from the current flashback batch that they dropped. As you guys saw in the last one, I got David DeCastro. I swear, if we get another old flashback, I'm not going to be happy. But check out this elite pack. We get two elites. And then a third one here, which is Alejandro. I'm not going to attempt to say his last name, but that is a playoff 90 overall. And our topper, it's an old flashback, Richie Incognito. But as disappointing as that bundles were, there is a tab to do a set. All you need is one elite token, five gold, five silver, and it will give you a flashback reward pack. Now, I did that set five times, a.k.a. We're about to get five flashback players jumping into the first one. Let's go. We get Josh Gordon himself. We still have four more to go. But honestly, I'm content right now. If the rest of these are doo-doo, like I said, I'm content. Because we got ourselves Josh Gordon. Here, the third one is Geno Atkins. We got two more left. How will we close this thing out? All right, on the next one, we get Joe Hayden. A lot of Browns players that we're pulling here today. Jumping into the final one. Give us some of the new players. We get another Joe. All right, well, it started off good. The ending was disappointing. But honestly, we got ourselves... Josh Gordon, so I can't complain. I took out Devin Hester. I put Josh in his spot. Our wide receiver number four right now is Rod Smith. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out Rod, and that is where Devin Hester is going to go. So the only player that is really leaving my team is Rod Smith himself. And honestly, that is the only change I'm making to the offense. So let's go ahead and switch on over to the defense. There's a few spots I'm going to work on, like Night Train Lane. Now, I did not want to get rid of him, but I did it for the sake of the content. I want to bring in someone new, and that guy is going to be Darrell Rebus, 540,000 coins. He will play in the slot as cornerback number three. One more change, and that is going to be the middle linebacker spot. Currently, we do have Bo Jackson. I feel like I've had him for a while, so I decided to go ahead and scoop up this brand new flashback Ryan Shazier. I thought I was done, but I was like, wait a second. There's a kicker out there that I want to get. Yes, we're about to pick up a kicker for 386,000 coins. Adam Vinatieri. And for those that are curious, this is what my kicker, my punter, my specialist look like. It is time to jump into a game online. 
As we jump into this game, here's my top three players. We got Calvin, Dion, Julio, Jones. Check out his top three. This is going to be a good game. All right, here comes the first play of the day. I'm going to hand the ball off to... Are you... Man, come on, man. What is this? Todd Gurley already fumbles the ball. I'm not going to lie. That was a clean hit. So he takes over now. That's Bo Jackson. Oh, my. What a spin move. Bo gets tackled out at the one. Moments later, you guys saw he also had Deshaun Watson. Sneaks this one in for the first touchdown of the day. We take over now, and once again, Todd Gurley right here gets popped. That was so scary. I thought he was going to fumble for sure. On third and four, I connect with Julio Jones. So that is a big first down for us because moments later, Sean Taylor goes in for the game time touchdown. You guys know this weekend, as far as the NFL playoffs go, we got some amazing games lined up. First game is on Saturday. Atlanta is taking on Philadelphia. I think that's going to be one of the best games of the week. And in my opinion, without Carson, I don't see the Eagles pulling this one out. Even though they do have the home field advantage, I think their defense is incredible. I'm not sure how Nick Foles is going to do. Obviously, everything comes down to him. But I just think Atlanta is going to win that game. It could go either way, but I have Atlanta Falcons winning that game. Next one is Tennessee against New England. I'm going to go with New England. I don't see them losing at home. So the two games that I just talked about, those are happening on Saturday. And on Sunday, the first game is Jacksonville against Pittsburgh. Now, the first time they played, I think Big Ben threw like five interceptions. I don't see it happening again, but I think this game is going to be tremendously close. And once again, it could go either way. People cannot sleep on Jacksonville this year. I'm just going to go ahead and just pick Pittsburgh with this game. And in the last game, New Orleans against Minnesota. I'm going to go with New Orleans. That's tough. That's very tough. I'm not going to lie. It's a tough one to choose because Minnesota, once again, at home. The Super Bowl is happening at home. But it all comes down to Case Keenum. How will he play? in the playoffs so we're gonna find out like i said i got atlanta new england pittsburgh and new orleans let me know what you think i think all those matchups it could go either way like that is why the playoff games are gonna be really exciting so make sure you comment below and let me know what you think right here as you guys see we get a big time interception because the game is so close and something that i did with my defensive calls is make sure that I get to his quarterback because I don't know if you guys paid attention, but in the first half, he was scrambling out with Deshaun Watson so much. So I was like, all right, for the second half, I'm going to switch up my strategy and I'm going to be using with not only Von Miller, but also Lawrence Taylor, which is my two outside linebackers. Because like I said, he always scrambles out and throws the ball and it kind of threw off my defense. But once I started adjusting to it, you guys saw I got a bunch of interceptions in the second half and I was able to completely stop him. So after that interception by Jalen Ramsey, we took our field goal, and just like that, we're going to make it a 19-14 game. There's a minute left here. Everything comes down to this once again. It's that boy Von Miller getting a sack on 3rd and 14. I'm not going to lie. He came up clutch here. His offense hasn't been the same to start off the second half after we made those adjustments. Right here once again, I thought he caught that. A big four down here. Deshaun is going to step back. And he's going to complete this one to keep the drive alive. He still has two timeouts, so anything can happen here. But he could not afford to take a sack right there because he just burned his final timeout. Like I said, I continue to use her with the outside linebackers. That completely changed up his game. Right here on this play, there's 10 seconds left. He has no timeouts remaining. Again, I'm coming his way with Von Miller, which forced him to get rid of the ball quickly. And I don't know if he paid attention to the game clock. He did not have time. He should have thrown that into the end zone just like that. It was a super defensive game. Like, we didn't score that many touchdowns, but we walked away victorious. The score was 19-14. I hope you guys enjoyed all the moves that I made. Continue being amazing people. I appreciate you guys supporting me day in and day out. If you enjoyed this, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. It's your boy, Onto the Boss. 
I am signing out.